To build social networks is always a great idea and we want to build today this example where you can swipe left and right like Tinder is doing inside of the application and that's what we want to build. Therefore we will start here with this card and build now the swiping functionality. Therefore we get started here directly at this card. So we have here this card widget and what we do now is to wrap this inside of a new widget. And this widget is called the draggable widget and with this one you can basically drag a widget around and here you put one child inside and next to the child property we also have the feedback property and here we also put again a user card inside and this will be then the user card which is dragged around and the important thing is to wrap this widget which is dragged around around a material widget and we give it here a transparency because otherwise it doesn't work. So this is a must if you have a widget and you want to drag it around. And now if we try this out, you can also drag your widget around like you can see, and this is already working. And behind we have again this user card widget. So we have two cards and behind we want to show then another card later. Let's also add the functionality that if you swipe to one location, then you see first of all this, or you see also this like on the other side. So we want to create this batch here right now. Therefore, let's get started and call here the on drag end. And every time if you drag to the left or to the right side and then end the user interaction like this, then we go here inside of this method and here inside we want to check if you drag to the right or to the left side so that it is a like or a dislike. And here we basically test with this details which we get from this on drag end. Um, we test here if we are swiping to the right side or to the left side and we also check that we go at least 100 pixels to the right side or to the left side. In the first case, if we go to the right side, we want to put here into our user object. So I have created here this user object and we have here also inside if the user is liked. So if we have swiped into the one direction and if you don't like this user and swiped it off, then it's uh, putting to the other direction. So let's go here back to the on drag end and also handle the second case. So if we go into the other direction, so we have here this time a minus in front. Um, then the user is liked. And now we have determined if a user was liked or if he was not liked. And then we simply want to remove the current user because the user is uh, liked or disliked. And then we want to show the next user, which is behind this user. So I have here this user list where we have in the beginning all of our dummy users inside. And here you see all the user data inside and you can also modify it to your need. The next thing is to show also the next user behind our current user and how we do this is we go here to our draggable and here inside we call this child when dragging and then we need to set it to the container object and if we do this and then we swipe here one card to another location you see that we see the other card below this and how this is working we go right now more into detail. Now let's go back one step and start at this position where we have no card. So I show you the whole process, how everything works. And to build the cards, we first of all go over our users list. So this is our list of users, which we have stored. And here we only check if they are empty. Then we want to show here a text, no more users. And otherwise, if we have some users, we want to display them right now on top of each other. And to show them on top of each other, we make here use of the stack. And with this widget, you can place many widgets on top of each other. And then we simply build every individual user on top of each other. And this build user method is the method we have already created. So here we actually have our user card and also our draggable. Now let's also have a look how the user card was built. In our user card widget, we start here with a container and here inside we wrap this around another container and here we basically set first of all a decoration. So we want to put here an image inside and this is a user image which we have stored here in our assets. So we have here all the users and right now they are stored here inside of our app locally. And then we also want to set here a border radius. So we want to make our card rounded. And we also want to give this card a height and a width factor. 
And if we do this, then you see that we have here actually our image shown here in the background. And also the card is rounded here with some corners and we give it here some specific height. So we take here our height of the whole screen and the width of our whole screen. And here we show 70% of our screen in the height. So this is 70%. And we also show here 95% in the width. And if you want to modify it, you can basically do this. So for example, you change it to 80% width and then this card will be smaller. All right, let's go on and also create here some effect on this card. So what we do is we wrap this here inside of a new container and here we set again a decoration and this time we set again a border radius to make our effect also rounded. And then we want to set here inside the first effect. So we want to set here a box shadow. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here the shadow on top of our image. And we also want to set here a linear gradient inside. And here we set again two colors inside. And then we set here a beginning and end. So basically we begin here at our center point and then we have this effect until the bottom center. So this will be here down. And if we also add this effect, you see that we have here in the end more black. And this is because we have added here two stops. And basically from 40% to 1%, it will always get here more black like you can see. And this is already a pretty cool effect because we also want to put later some text and things on it. So basically our design has here some name on it and therefore we need this shadow in the background so that this name is displayed correctly and also the other information. All right, now we have done a major step and our card is here ready. We can swipe around. The only thing which is missing is that we also add here these kind of data on side of our card and that we also put here this batch every time to the left side or to the right side. We start with displaying all the information on top of this image and therefore I exchange here this container and here we basically put our user information inside so I create a new method and here our user goes inside with all the fields which we want to access right now. So we want to access the name, the mutual friends and so on. And by the way, you can get this whole source code with the first link in the description and with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. All right, let's go here back to our method and here inside, we first of all add a padding. So inside of it, we want to place a column and now we want to display here all the user information inside. So let's have a look at what we want to display. So basically we display here the name, then the age of the person. And then we also have here this description text of the person and some mutual friends and also this icon here. And therefore we start first of all with the name. So we put here the name inside and the user age. And here we make use of string interpolation. And here inside of these brackets, we need to set every time our object inside. And here the same again. So you have always to put here this dollar sign inside and the brackets. And we also set here the text style of this username. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have the username here at the top and also his age. And then we also want to display his description. So I add here some spacing after it. And then we add here his user designation or his description. And for example, this one is a software developer. And after it, we put here again some spacing and then we put here this mutual friends inside of this person. And this person has three mutual friends, for example. And here we use again the string interpolation to put our object inside. If we now look here at our end goal, we are almost finished. So we only need to place here this information down and also create this icon. And then we create actually these badges here. So let's go again to our build method and here inside we have built this user info and this is what we want to wrap around a stack widget so that we can also display other information next to this user information here inside. And then we also put here a row widget inside and we want to put next to the user information this icon on the right side. So we want to display here this info icon. And therefore I put here an icon inside. So this is here this info icon of a color of white. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here this icon on the right side and on the left side of our row, we have our user data. 
Now we want to move all of this here down in our widget. So we put here inside also a positioned widget. And with this one, you can position this widget here down. And therefore I put here right and left to 10. So we have here also some spacing on the left. So 10 pixels on the left and 10 pixels on the right. And we also set 10 pixels to the bottom. And then we show here this information at the bottom. And now we also want to build here in our stack next to this uh, user information, also our batch. So I put here again inside this build like batch. And here we check every time that the user is currently visible. And therefore I have created here at the top a field. And this is coming here from outside of the widget. And here in our homepage, this field is defined. And here we always check if we have here right now our current user showing. And then this is in focus. And if we show here the current user, then we want to show here the like or not like. And therefore we create here our like batch method. And here inside, we first of all check if the swiping direction is none. So if we don't swipe to any direction, then we want to simply show nothing. However, if we swipe to the left or to the right, so this is an enum I have created, then we want to show the batches. Therefore, we create here a container and here inside we put a text inside. And here, depending on if we swipe right, then we want to show like. And if we swipe left, then we want to show here knob or that he dislike this person. And we also put here some text style inside. So we have already created here this text of our batch. Now we want to add some padding and also a border around. And we also want to make it colored. And now we create this border. So we have here this container wrapped around our text widget. And here inside we basically want to put our border inside with a specific color. So the color is every time determined if we swipe right and if we like a person, then it is a green color. And otherwise we put here this pink color inside and this is then if we swipe to the left side. And then we also want to add here some space around our text. Therefore I put here also a padding around and we set it here to eight pixels as padding. Now we want to also show this badge inside of our widget and Right now, if I try to drag it around, it's not visible. Right now, the reason is that it's not showing because the swiping direction is never changed and we need to update it. So every time if we go here to the left or to the right side, we need to update the swiping direction. So we go again to our home page, and here where we create our user card and this draggable, here we want to wrap this around a listener and here we basically listen if we are moving here around with our pointer and then we want to add here the functionality inside of our provider state management to update the position. So I have created here a new method and here inside we basically get every time the change which we are uh, doing here on the x axis and we add it here to a variable which I have stored here at the top. And then we basically determine if we swipe here to the right location, if we swipe to the left location, or otherwise if we have this here at zero, then it should have no direction. And now that we have put here this on pointer move inside, we can actually drag here around and then you see, okay, he's changing here every time this like or not liked. And if we swipe here to the right side, it's showing like. And right now this batch will stay here all the time, even if I don't drag here right now around. And therefore we also want to add here another method inside. This is the cancel method. So if we cancel here our interaction, then we want to call actually a new method reset position. Or if we also go with our fingers up from the screen, then we also want to call again the reset position. And this is again stored inside of our provider and here inside we basically set every time the dx coordinate to zero again and we also set here the swiping direction to none because then we are not swiping if we are not uh, interacting with this anymore. Let's try this also out. So I swipe here to the right side and then it is here disappearing again because right now we every time reset the position again. All right, now we have done already a major step forward. We are showing our batch and now is the time to show it here in the right location. So we want to show it on the right side or on the left side, depending on into which direction we are swiping. 
So we go here again back to our user card widget where we have our batch inside. And now we wrap this container, our batch inside of a position widget. And here we want to determine the position. So we basically want to show it here at the top of our card. So I put here top to 20 pixels so that we have here 20 pixel space and then we show our batch. And we also want to show our batch depending on if we swipe to the left side or to the right side. So I basically put here right inside. And if we are swiping right, I set it here to null. And we also put here 20 inside if we swipe to left. So if we swipe to the left side, then we want to show our batch here on the left side. And otherwise we show our batch on the right side if we swipe to the right location. All right, now we can try this out. So if I swipe here to one side, we see it on the right side. And if I swipe to the other side, you see it here on the left side, the batch. To make it more interesting, we also want to rotate this widget a bit and also the other widget into the other direction. So let's wrap here our container itself inside of a transform widget. And with this one, you can rotate this batch to the left or to the right side. Therefore, we put here simply this value inside and we determine here this value. If we are swiping to the right side, then we put it here to 45 degrees to the one side and otherwise we put it here to 45 degrees to the other side. All right, let's try this now out. So you see here we have our batch, it's rotated to the one side. And if I go to the other side, it's rotated to the other location. And this is basically what we are doing here with this angle and our transform rotate widget. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.